Bonjour, it is me, Cotelli de la Lille, and welcome to the Gulf Coast Classic. So at this given moment in time, we're actually walking with the course designer. Um, she has absolutely given us all the information that we need to know regarding what we need to do as equestrians during this entire process. This is absolutely amazing. So as I mentioned, this discipline of jumping, whether it be hunter jumping or just jumping, is a road I have yet to cross. But as an athlete my entire life, I understand the importance of immersing myself in the world that I'm going to be a part of. So being able to have this privilege of walking the course with the course designer was mind blowing and so informative. It's funny because when you are watching these jumps online, they seem large, but you don't really know how large. So being able to get up close and personal to the fences was very humbling okay so we just had an incredible experience walking this course with the course designer this is my first time ever being out here and seeing how tall these things are they're literally about four feet <laughs> that is huge um, when you think about it and you think about the size of these horses also something else that we discovered was that you um, actually, the first round, it is more about you clearing, um, clearing the, 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 the course. The second round is more about going fast and clearing. But you do have to go um, make sure in the first round that you finish within that 80 second um, time limit. So we're learning a lot here, stay tuned. I truly love this experience and I'm super grateful for the administrators of the Mobile Bay Pony Club for allowing me to tag along. I understand the importance of knowing the ins and outs of any sport as a form of coach of collegiate level athletes. So understanding the importance of the rounds of the jumpers and what is actually being judged, things to consider when taking strides between each jump and in addition just basic jumper terminology. All of these things are very imperative when it comes to participating as a jumper or even as a spectator. And before we get to the next segment, it is 81 seconds. I don't want any of you to come for me in the comments. So right now we're at the um, Hunters Arena which is different than your jumpers and we're actually going to go look at the equitation which provides something completely different all of these different things have um particular purposes and points that you have to focus on so for example one thing may be about just the rider one thing may be just about the horse one thing may be just about the time or clearing the fences and a variety of things but as i grow on my journey i will definitely be able to um give a better insight on exactly what is needed and what is being asked for and also how to actually um, achieve what's being asked. This particular aspect of jumping is very refined which I particularly love and appreciate. In this style of jumping, form, trend, technique, body position, all of these things are being looked at as a hunter jumper. When I am in this space and watching the riders, I thoroughly enjoy the attention to detail, which isn't surprising as a former gymnast and dancer. So at this particular point in time, again, we are down here with the hunters. This is a beautiful discipline. I love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I've yet to begin to really delve into the spaces of jumping, but that's what I desire to do. And so being here in this moment, in this space, it really gives you a clear indication of what you're looking at, but maybe not what you're experiencing. But I also have to tell you, in 
just about 45 minutes, we will get to watch some Grand Prix jumpers, which is going to be next level. I'm super excited. I find it to be incredibly important to any athlete to constantly be surrounded by the best in that field or industry. I remember as a child going to major competitions as a gymnast and sitting with the Olympians in my adulthood. And being able to do so only inspired me to do more and become better because it confirmed that that reality is obtained. Doesn't mean the reality is going to be easily obtained but it absolutely can be obtained okay so we're here towards the end of our day and i'm super super excited i don't know exactly how this looks on the camera so forgive me if it's distracting but anyways this is also my mic we don't have a um a live mic yet but we're gonna get one so i don't have to hold this up but anyway so now we're getting ready for the grand prix riders and this is the top of the top this is where you want to be this is where everyone well some people strive for if you so desire um apparently the grand prix price is i think twenty five thousand. that's huge so that means you must know what you're doing if you're riding for that type of money um super excited to see this and to see the difference because if you're Riding at that level, you're definitely going to see a difference between these jumpers and the others. And um, I'm just beyond excited. Like, this is a dream come true. So, stay tuned. And yeah, just stay tuned. As I mentioned prior, placing yourself in an environment of greatness should inspire you to be great. Just a month ago, maybe, I saw a Grand Prix competition on YouTube, and I was not aware of who would be showing. During this time, interestingly enough, a local equestrian was a part of this particular show. Immediately, that inspired me. But little did I know that this particular equestrian would be at the Gulf Coast Winter Classic. Upon discovering this, I also discovered she won the Gulf Coast Classic twice before this Grand Prix. And believe it or not, she won this one as well. This is a huge inspiration for me, but not only in the space of competition and winning, but also sports, uh, horsemanship and confidence, caring for your team, myself and your equestrian partner. All of these things are very well presented during the Gulf Coast Classic. The beauty of this journey is understanding Nobody started where they are today, and for that reason, I confidently move forward, knowing that I am where I am today, but I will not be where I am tomorrow, or even five years from now. Okay, everybody, so this was the entire day of the Gulf Coast Winter Classic here in Harrison County at the fairgrounds. This was amazing. It was absolutely inspiring. Um, I hope that you saw some things that inspired you. I sure did. Please make sure again that you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a sweet kind comment below, and catch me next time. Merci et visu visu.